My name is Brandi Gensky, Program Support Teacher and Response to Intervention Implementation Manager for Bondeville School District in Bondeville, Wisconsin. We started in, in February of the 2012-2013 school year with a pilot through MindPlay. Initially, we launched this program with the struggling students in the classroom, um, and we used that based on the measures of academic progress testing or MAPS assessment, scholastic reading inventory, SRI scores for their Lexile, and then also classroom performance. Student progress was rapidly increasing. We decided to use this program through the entire sixth grade at that point to just see how much growth we could actually achieve. We kept a very close eye on any transferable growth at that point. Our school board and administrators, they wanted to see what the growth really was and how much it could transfer to other areas. And outside of the MindPlay reports, they wanted to see any type of increase that would transfer. So what we used was the Scholastic Reading Inventory. So the students reported an average of 200 points of growth, which is multiple grade levels. Measures of Academic Progress, which is the MAP scores, um, those students reported anywhere up to 40 points. Again, multiple grade levels. We also used informal classroom measures and the STAR Progress Monitoring. If you look here, one year later, you'll see that all these percentage rates have increased. We were growing through the roof and skyrocketing. Some teachers report success stories that I wanted to share with you would be high school tier two interventionists report that two students increased two grade levels, four students increased four grade levels, and six students increased five grade levels in the area of fluency in one quarter. That's nine weeks. Um, some elementary education student progress would be 73% of our students with disabilities were identified in the critical range on the MindPlay reports and showing a deficit at the beginning of the school year. Now only 9% are in the critical range for special education. An elementary regular education student reports that MindPlay uh, have increased scholastic reading inventory scores again at the 200 point range. My favorite part of this whole presentation are student success stories. You can never have enough of them and it took me a little bit to try to decide which students I wanted to share with you. This first student is named Hannah and Hannah is a student who was in eighth grade who was very transient. She moved all over and she lost much of the instruction that she had received and showed a deficit into the fourth grade level. She had low confidence after mind play. She completed the program with an, an, an entire program in a semester. She was able to grow six grade levels and her confidence soared. Now if you take a look at Hannah, she was one of the students who was very excited for the growth. She would use the program at home. She would come and report to me in my office what things, and, uh, what things she learned and how much she could grow. It was very, very um, great to see her shine. Another student who's very dear to my heart is Jacob. Jacob um, had very little reading success in his life. He had a beginning reader lexile in fifth grade and his parents were told that he would never have typical academic success due to his chemotherapy treatment. Jacob is a leukemia survivor. So we used mind play with him and his remediation and after mind play he is now reading at his current sixth grade level. He has so much confidence that he's been able to be on the honor roll and his parents and teachers are very impressed with his success. Another student I would like to talk to you about, um, her name is Michaela. She's a 19 year old cognitively disabled student. She was reading at the first grade level and we used mind play for her remediation. She now is so excited that she has grown seven grade levels and is able to read fluently. She comes in every day to my office excited about how many trophies that she's earned, um, gold trophies, silver trophies, and she shares it with other students. It really is a delight to see her and how much she's grown. Another student that we have would be a Spanish-speaking student, and we put him on the MindPlay program, and he was only with us for a very short time, part of summer school and about a semester in the school year, and he was able to read at about a second grade level by the time he left with us, and that was with starting with at zero. You know, he had no skills at that point. School-level success. 
The Bondwell School District overall had 2.4 years of gain in 30 hours. Um, as you can see by these graphs, it's very considerable. In the Bondo Elementary School, we'll break it down by each school. In this school, elementary had 30 hours again on the program and 1.4 years gain per average student gain. The middle school had, again using the 30 hour filter, 3.43 years gain. That is just amazing growth. There is nothing that we use that can be compared to that. And the high school, again, at the 30-hour filter, we have 2.13 years gain. And the growth, again, there's nothing that will compare to that. Now, the district report card. As we all know that, you know, we, the ultimate goal is the student, but the teachers are also being greeted, and so is our district. So when we look at our district report card, in every single area that we have been graded on for reading, we have exceeded the average state score in the area of reading. And MindPlay definitely played a significant part in that. And I just wanted to say thank you to MindPlay.